Okay, let's get to it. So you want to launch a Canvas event. Where do you even start? It seems so overwhelming. Well, let's break it down to something simple. First you plan, then you execute, then you follow up. First, planning. It doesn't matter if you are working on an electoral or issue-based campaign, or if you're working in an organization or by yourself, you need to plan carefully and give people plenty of notice. As the organizer, you need to select the day, the location, the time, and the specific shifts that volunteers can sign up for. Canvassing can happen any day of the week, but most common events are on the weekend. It depends on the campaign, the calendar, and the location, but oftentimes canvassing shifts will start at 10 a.m. and go until 8 p.m. Okay, you've confirmed your canvas for two Saturdays from now inside the local public library from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Now it's time to recruit volunteers. You should ask all of your friends, neighbors, and colleagues to come. And you can ask them to bring a friend. If you have access to a voter file, you can cold call likely volunteers. A voter file is a list of voters in your area. You can get a list from your Secretary of State's office or by working with an existing campaign or organization that will have a database. Texting is another way of recruiting volunteers, but can sometimes be a bit impersonal if you don't know the person. You can also recruit volunteers through social media by creating a Facebook event page and inviting your friends. If possible, it's crucial that you have a team of other volunteers that is helping you with the Canvas event for recruiting, data entry, and assisting the day of. Right, so a few days have passed, and you've already gotten 20 people to agree to come. You're killing it. But now what? Well, you should never assume these people will come without multiple rounds of confirmation. It's kind of like a wedding. You don't count them until they've RSVP'd. You and your team should confirm volunteers at least two to three times through calling, texting, emailing, meeting face-to-face. -face. However you have to do it, do it. It's been found that volunteers are more likely to show up when they get these confirmations. Okay, now it's time to move to logistics. It's important to have all your materials ready to go so when people arrive, the process will be as smooth and efficient as possible. This means you and your team need to create and gather all materials for a walk packet. A walk packet would include a script, which tells you what to say, a map, which tells you where to go, and a contact sheet, where the canvasser marks down information about the voters including whether they are home and how they respond to your questions. The packet should be printed out and arranged based on the most walkable route. This will make the walking experience much easier and more efficient for your canvassers. It doesn't take that long. Just put the sheets in a walkable order and draw the arrows for volunteers to follow on their map page. Now make sure the packet is on a clipboard along with your campaign literature and a pencil. And if you and your team can afford it, try and have buttons, stickers, water bottles, and some kind of snack for the canvassers. The location should be set up in a way that encourages people to come in, pick up materials, get trained, and be on their way. It's not meant to be a time to catch up and chat for 20 minutes. There is a time and a space for that, like when they come back from their canvas. But for now, we have voters to talk to. Make sure the office or the location is clearly visible and there's parking. Okay, with preparation complete, you are ready to actually execute your canvas launch. Keep watching for the exact steps on how to do that.